day. Those alien bats are taking a pay for shooting up my ride. Hello everyone, Frank here again, and in this video we are going to see how we can play Duke Nukem on uh, Linux. So the first thing we want to do is head over to eduke32.com. This is basically a website that hosts an emulator that we can use on Linux to be able to play the game. Um, so what you want to do is basically uh, click this, download eduke32, and that'll basically you know take you here. Uh, the file that we want to download would be this tar file, so we can just do right click and then copy link location. Um, and then from there, uh, I created this directory here on my terminal. All we want to do is do wgit and then the link so we can download the file. Okay, it's downloading. It's uh, way slower than I expected, but it's going. Um, I'll pause it for now, I'll come back when the download finishes. Alright, so now that we've downloaded the file, let's go ahead and extract it. Um, ignore this file for now, I'll get back to that in a minute. So let's extract the tar file we just downloaded by doing tar-xvf and then the file name. So that'll extract our tar file. Awesome, it's extracted. So at this point, um, we have this directory here. I'll just go ahead and rename it so it can be nicer looking or friendlier. Uh, but basically, yeah, we're gonna want. I mean, it's up to you if you want to rename it, rename it or not. I'll just call it Duke Nukem Emulator. Okay. So. So uh, now we just have to go in here, you can see all of our files here. So the next thing we want to do is basically uh, build from this source that we have here, but the first thing that we have to do is install some prerequisite packages on our Linux machine. Um, I'm using Ubuntu, so in this case I'm going to install the Ubuntu related ones, but if you head over to their uh, wiki page you'll see uh, what packages are required uh, for your distribution if you're using Fedora. Um, of course, I'll put the link in the description for sure. So let's go ahead and install that. All right, one second. All right, so I went ahead and installed the packages. As you can see, I already had them here. So let's move on to the next step, which is actually building the emulator from our source code here. 
So to build, all we have to do is type the make command and um, just let that run and finish up. So it might also take a few minutes or so. So I'll come back once it finishes uh, building. Okay, so once it's done building, you should have an eduke32 file. So we can see here. So all you would have to do is dot slash eduke32 and that'll open the actual uh, emulator menu. Uh, from here, you would just hit start and uh, you know, if you have your game file here, uh, it'll boot up the game. So that's where you see this message here that says found no recognized game data. We're getting that because we don't have our actual game file in our um, in our emulators directory. So, as I mentioned uh, earlier, this file here, this is basically the Duke Nukem game file. Um, if you bought the game on Steam, you should be able to retrieve this uh, file from your uh, installation directory. Uh, I'm not really going to go into details on how to, you know, obtain it, but if you do a quick Google search, it'll point you in the right direction. So in this case, I'm just going to move that game file, the Duke 3D, to my Duke Nukem, Nukem emulator directory. Awesome. So now that we're here, we have our game file, and then we've compiled our emulator. So all we have to do run it again this time you won't see the uh, you'll see that it, that it found the game so the game file for Duke Nukem so at this point um, you just choose your settings here and uh, you can enjoy playing the game yep that old school nostalgia So yeah, that's pretty much how you play Duke Nukem on Linux. Uh, hopefully this video was helpful. Don't forget to hit a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel uh, for content like this. If you have any suggestions for new content, uh, feel free to always drop it in the comment section. Uh, as always, thank you for watching. Bye.